I want all of you today to walk out to graduate from this college with a vision in life. Otherwise, you're part of the herd. We not, we've not come here to be part of the herd. We should all have a vision in life. And that is what sets a normal and ordinary human being from a leader. A leader has a vision. And dream big. We don't have to look at a small dream. Robin Sharma is a motivational speaker. He says, if people aren't laughing at your dreams, that means you do not have a big enough dream. So my request to you is that have a vision to help your community. This dunya is not the end of it. The end is the meeting with Rasulullah and Allah and our God. The entire journey is the preparation for that. Avi Dhukari for that. बेंगलुरु का मारूफ इदारा हसनाथ पीयू वुमेंस कॉलेज का सालाना इजलास बड़े जोश और खरोश के साथ मनाया गया हसनाथ एजुकेशनल सोसाइटी के चेयरमैन यूनुस मोहम्मद सेठ की सरपरस्ती में चलने वाले इस इदारे में मिल्लत की बेटियां इस्लामी तहजीब के साथ तालीम हासिल कर रही हैं। हसनाथ पीयू कॉलेज के इस ग्रेजुएशन डे में मशहूर मोटिवेशनल स्पीकर वली रहमानी ने अपने खिताब से बच्चों को मोटिवेट किया इस मौके पर बहसीियत मेहमान खसूसी हार्टिकल्चर डिपार्टमेंट की सेक्रेटरी डॉक्टर शामिला इकबाल डॉक्टर मंसूर नोमान और दीगर अहम जिम्मेदारान शरीक रहे इस मौके पर मेहमानों ने खातन में तालीम की अहमियत और आने वाली जिंदगी के मुश्किल और उसके हल पर अपने ख्याल का इजहार किया इस मौके पर हसनात एजुकेशनल सोसाइटी के नायब सदर वहाब खान अरकान में इसहाक सेठ मोइन सेठ सुलेमान रब्बानी मोहतरमा इफत फातिमा और दीगर जिम्मेदारान शरीक रहे और मुझे बहुत खुशी हुई कि आज जो टैलेंट जो हमने बच्चों में देखा कि हमें खुद सरप्राइज होते हैं कि इतने अच्छे टैलेंट्स इनमें हैं और इनको अगर मौका मिले तो ये और आगे जा सकते हैं और आगे कर सकते हैं तो हमारी कौम में ऐसा नहीं है कि टैलेंट नहीं है इनको ज़रूरत है अपॉर्चुनिटी की और इनको हमें अपॉर्चुनिटी देने के लिए मैं हर बार हर जगह बात करता हूँ आज भी मैं सुबह एक फंक्शन में बता रहा था कि हमें माइनॉरिटी या मुस्लिम मैनेज इंस्टीट्यूशंस के मैनेजमेंट्स एक एसोसिएशन बना के एक जगह हम जमा हों ताकि हमें मालूम हो कि हमारे इंस्टीट्यूशंस हमारे कॉलेजेस के क्या प्रॉब्लम्स हैं तो अगर सबको अगर इकट्ठा करके हम कॉमन इश्यूज को हम सॉल्व करें तो बहुत जल्द हम अच्छे अच्छे प्लान्स बना के हमारी कम्यूनिटी के बच्चों के लिए अच्छे इकदाम अच्छे अपॉर्चुनिटीज़ दे सकते हैं फैसिलिटीज़ दे सकते हैं क्योंकि गवर्नमेंट की तरफ से तो बहुत से ऐसे कोई फैसिलिटी यहाँ पे नहीं है हमें खुद अपने तौर पे ऐसे फैसिलिटीज़ क्रिएट करना पड़ेगा इसलिए हमें एक हो के जितने भी मुस्लिम मैनेज इंस्टीट्यूशन हैं सबके मैनेजमेंट से इन बहुत जल्द मुलाकात होगी और एक एसोसिएट एक फेडरेशन फॉर्म किया जाए दैट इज़ वही हमें कोशिश कर रहे हैं तो इसके लिए लीड कौन लेंगे आप आगे हम वहीं आगे लोग रहूँगा इन सब मिल एक जगह जमा होंगे हसनाथ कॉलेज में ही जमा होंगे और हम कॉमन प्लेटफॉर्म में डिसाइड करेंगे कब से काम शुरू होगा ये जितना जल्दी हो सके करना है क्योंकि बहुत वक्त निकल चुका है क्योंकि हमारे पास इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर बहुत कमी है और हमें दूसरे कॉलेजेस में हमें मालूम है कि हिजाब से जो भी हिजाब पहनती हैं लड़कियों के लिए ऐसा कोई जगह नहीं मिलेगी आगे चल के भले फिर वो कोई भी गवर्नमेंट हो आज मुसलमान के मसले को मैंशन करने भी कतराते हैं पॉलिटिशन्स तो हमें अपना ओन रास्ता कुछ ढूंढना पड़ेगा इसलिए मेरी कोशिश है कि हम जितना जल्दी हो सके एक प्लेटफॉर्म बनाएं और हमारे हमारी जो जो तकलीफ़ें हैं उसको पहले हम समझें और उसके सल्यूशन ढूंढें तो इन आप भी जितने भी प्रेस वाले हैं इसकी तरफ तोजा दें और हमारे मुस्लिम मैनेज इंस्टीट्यूशनस के जो लिमिटेड रिसोर्स हैं उसको हम बढ़ाने के लिए कोशिश करें उसमें मदद करें You study science, but you study science by seeing that this is the creation of God. You study history with the perspective that this has happened with the will of God. You study geography with the perspective that this is the creation of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. So it is read, but with the name of your Lord, and that is the beauty. But if you do not read with the name of your Lord, what happens? You develop atom bomb, and then you throw it on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. No, no, that's not to love. Because you read, and you read enough to have created that atom bomb, but you did not read with the name of your Lord. If you would have read with the name of your Lord, you would have known that the right use of atom bomb is not to throw it on people and kill them. And that is why it is important to read with the name of your Lord. All of you will 
go on to become leaders, inshallah. And I want you to understand this. What sets a normal human being and a leader apart? A leader has a vision. And I want all of you today to walk out to graduate from this college with a vision in life. Otherwise, you're part of the herd. We not, we've not come here to be part of the herd. We should all have a vision in life. And that is what sets a normal and ordinary human being from a leader. A leader has a vision. And dream big. Robin Sharma is a motivational speaker. He says, if people aren't laughing at your dreams, that means you do not have a big enough dream. That means you do not have a big enough dream. So it is important that you dream so big, so big that your friends, your family, your parents start laughing at you. And that is the time when you realize that you're dreaming big. It is important that we have a vision. Because we are all answerable to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, right? This is not the end of it, right? The end is the meeting with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And all of it is because we have to stand one final day in front of Allah to hear that one word, one sentence of Allah. And what is that one sentence? Yeah, I am satisfied. What if Allah says I am not satisfied? Gone. Everything comes back to zero. Just one sentence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wo sunne ke liye hum kaam that's it. Are we working towards that? Yes, Alhamdulillah. If no, start off right now, inshallah. Okay, inshallah? inshallah. Uh, did I mention that I did the fundraising? How much was the amount? No, no, no. no, no. no, no. Uh, I did not mention that. You should know it. I, I called on to 10 lakh people to give me 100 rupees each. And how much do you think people contributed? In 7 days, there were more than 6 lakh transactions, and I was able to raise 7 crore in 7 days. Alhamdulillah. Give up the How does that happen? This is nothing less than a miracle, trust me. I can come on some other day and explain to you how that happened and what went on for the past six years because of which Allah helped me in this way that there were six lakh people. And, and trust me, there were, there were rickshaw pullers who were stopping in the street and said, Bali Ramani? I said, yes. I have given you Then there's this friend of mine who came from Aurangabad to prepare a project report for my school. He, he, he was an IS aspirant. He, he came to Calcutta and then he took out 100 rupees from his pocket and he said, while I was leaving home, I was telling my mom that I am going to meet Bali, the domestic help who works in my house. He said, are you going to meet Bali Rahmani? I said, yes. She took out 100 rupees and said, I do not have Paytm or phone pay. Please give this 100 rupees to me. So that is the kind of respect and that is the kind of help I got from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But what went in for the past six years was good intention. Hard work and sacrifice. Good intention. Intention should only be to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Nothing. The, 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 the highest form of intention is nothing but the fact that you do everything for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The second is mehnat, is hard work. Hard work, hard work, hard work, and hard work, and hard work, and hard work. Nothing. Our community is, is in a very poor state right now. Just on 30th of January 2023, there were two non-Muslim journalists who published an article in Hindustan Times and they, the, the heading of the article is The poorest community in India is the Muslim community. The poorest community in India is Muslim community. There are more than 6 crore Indian Muslims who live below the poverty line. What that means? What that means? If they were boys, they would have clapped right now. Like they were girls. It is, this, is, this is not distracting. <laughs> So, yeah, that's the different mashallah. You're so sensible, mashallah. I'm tired of boys. <laughs> so, so, where was I? Yes, six crore Indian Muslims who live below the poverty line. What that means is that they earn less than 6,000 a month. What is 6,000 a month? Tell me. Ek bukhar aajai aapko fever. You go to the doctor, you go to the doctor, one blood test, one x-ray, gone 6,000. There are more than 6 crore people living in this pathetic condition. What are we doing? What are we doing? So my request to you is that have a vision to help your community. This dunya is not the end of it. The end is the meeting with Rasulullah and our God. The entire journey is the preparation for that. Are we preparing for that? Are we going to be answerable? Are we going to be in a position to answer to our God is the question. This institution has provided us with an overall experience which was beyond our perspective. Although I would like to highlight a few instances over here, the teachers and the faculty members were well qualified and experienced professionals. 
not only focused on academics but also overall development of individuals. And I would like to share some of my nostalgic memories as we bid farewell and goodbye to our golden school days. I know there will be some tears but at the same time there will be plenty of smiles. And no matter what, this special moment will always be with us forever and we shall always cherish it together. I was really overwhelmed, I was nervous because I was from a different state. But being blessed with so much love, care and support by the lecturers and my friends, I'm thrilled. I found myself in an environment that felt like home. <laughs> Learning in this institute was not just in the classrooms or books. It was in feeling the warmth and pleasure of the presence of people around me. I feel very, very grateful and thankful to God to meet all of you and make and make this strong bond very stronger. Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity.